How you doing everyone? Uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up about what's been going on. I've been posting on Facebook that I had something big going on. I got it finalized. It took a lot longer than I thought, but here's what it is. I am promoting a show. I'm bringing in one of my favorite bands. Uh, they're out of Memphis, Tennessee. They're going to do an acoustic show. Their name's Ingram Hill. Uh, so I'm flying them in from Memphis, Tennessee to the state room uh, where they're going to be playing. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, for two reasons. One, I want to hear one of my favorite bands play, and they're really good. They got lyrics that you can relate to, so it's going to be exciting from that standpoint. Uh, the second is uh, more on a personal level. Um, so let me run that by you, because there's no way I could really explain this in, in just a regular Facebook post or a blog or anything like that. So I want you to hear it from me, uh, from, my, from the heart, why I'm doing this. Many of you may know that uh, about a year and a half, my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer. That one hit me pretty hard, uh, being that he was my best, he's, he is my best friend, he's been my best friend my whole life, um, done a lot of things for me, and uh, he, uh, he beat it, he's cancer free, had the surgery, he's, he's good, um, he's a tough, tough SOB, and, uh, and I, for some reason I always knew that he'd be okay just because of that reason, he's a, he's a tough guy, he's old school. So, pretty happy about that. Uh, about last November, December time, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Now, if there's one person in the world that doesn't deserve it, uh, it, it's my mom. She's the most honest, trusting, loving person that I've ever met in my life. And uh, I love her more than, more than I can ever tell her or explain to her. So, uh, that one's been a little bit more hard on me. Um, she had to quit dancing when she was really young. She loved to dance because she had to get an artificial hip when she was young. She's had multiple hip surgeries at this point. She has Meniere's syndrome, which is vertigo basically all the time. Uh, she's had a bunch of things. Um, so it's just it's just one other thing that I felt she never deserved. Um, she definitely has a one-way ticket to heaven, that's for sure. Um, so. What I decided to do was make this show a ben have a, a benefit concert. Now it's not the benefit is not going to be going directly towards prostate or breast cancer um, because what I realized is when my parents had cancer, I I hated the fact that I couldn't do anything for them. I could support them, which I'm sure was enough for them, but I felt that it wasn't enough and. What I wanted to do was be able to help people, and it doesn't have to be about breast cancer or prostate cancer, but I want to. I wanted to do something, and and be able to help people in general. So, the great thing about working for USANA, uh, I've been there 15 years, which is nuts. But the great thing about working for them is just recently they've installed the true the USANA True Health Foundation. What that is is it's a foundation where 100% of your donations go towards the Children's Hunger Fund, which is an amazing cause in itself. We've been helping them out for years. Or a general fund, which can go, which generally goes to disaster relief around the world. So the tornadoes that hit recently, uh, the, the tsunamis, earthquakes, um, it can go towards clothing, it can go towards you know feeding uh, people uh, for disaster relief, it can go towards nutrition. Um, an amazing cause. USANA gets no money from this. They're not getting any money. It's 100% donations. Um, and this is going to be their first, with the foundation being new, their first benefit uh, is going to be at this show that I'm doing, which I am truly honored that they were willing to step on board and, and help me out with this. So I'm really excited for this to happen. The stateroom only holds 300 people, so I know every single one of you Facebook people want to come to my show because it's me, but unfortunately I can't fit everyone. So um, I will let everyone know when tickets go on sale. Uh, it's, we're probably going to do it as a private show, uh, not public, uh, just so that we can get the people in there that, that uh, want to hear some good music but also really want to make a difference and uh and uh donate some money to this to this cause and but i will i will post it and let everyone know and and then we'll go from there but i just wanted to announce it it's here it's gonna be june 9th i guess i should have told you that it's june 9th um 
at the stateroom. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm excited, and we will talk to you later. Thanks, everyone.